new at six, a big shakeup could be coming to Michigan's GOP as committee members plan to hold a vote to kick party chair Christina Caramo out of office. Fox News' Scott Wolchek has more from Caramo, who says the vote doesn't matter. My country needs me, and this is a duty I will never give up on because I love my country. GOP State Chair Christina Caramo is not backing down. A vote will be held at a special meeting on Saturday where she may be ousted as state chair by her own party. Reasons calling for her resignation vary, but the Oakland County Republican Party said Caramo is not capable of building the infrastructure the party needs ahead of 2024's election. I was elected by a majority of the delegates to course correct and take the party in a new direction. And some people don't like that new direction. They want the status quo because the status quo padded a lot of people's pockets. Caramo says this meeting is invalid and the committee members aren't following procedure, so it has no legal standing. Individuals can't simply gather and throw the chair out. Um, there is a process to remove the chair or any committee member. There is a process to remove people, but that process has to be followed. These individuals have not followed the process. Let's say they have this meeting anyway and they vote you out. What happens? They can't vote me out because it's not a valid meeting. That's like me trying to vote the Democrat chair out. The situation is evolving day by day, but I caught up with a local political science professor who says that having your own party turn against you in this way is exceedingly rare. I'm not sure she can do much. I mean, I think, you know, short of raising millions upon millions of dollars that put the party in a position of strength. I'm not sure that there's much she can do. Professor of political science at Oakland University, David Dulio, says since Caramo took the position as chair in February, there were concerns about her ability to raise money for the party. The party is in dire straits in terms of, uh, of fundraising. Um, you know, she, the, the, one of the bigger uh, points of contention, I think, is that uh, she and her supporters are trying to sell a building in Lansing that they don't, that the party doesn't even own so it can pay its bills. Professor Dulio says if Caramo is voted out, the GOP still needs to rally to prepare for 2024's election. Quite frankly, it might even be too late. Uh, you know, they've got, uh, a, a lot of debts that they gotta pay off. Scott Walchek, Fox 2 News.